Welcome to reading lesson number eight on choosing an option from a list. Before you start this lesson, you will need to have the following to hand. Your training booklet, a pen or pencil, a rubber and a timer which you will need to set for five minutes for practice too. You can follow the lesson in your training booklet where you will find all the reading practice exercises and space to enter your answers. You can also find the answers at the back of your booklet. After this lesson, you will have a clear overview of what to expect in this question type, have learnt tips and strategies on how best to approach the section and have a chance to practice the question type using real IELTS materials. There are two practice tasks in this lesson. The first practice is more guided and the second you do alone. Now the format of this task is that you have to choose options from a list. The questions are not in order. All the answers will be in one place in the passage and you will need to skim to find the answers but also intensively read the paragraphs with the information. The answers are letters and they can be in any order. Now we're going to look at seven tips and strategies which will help you in the reading passage. Firstly, you need to read the headline. Then you need to decide if the questions are in order or not in order. And then if you should scan or skim the passage. Then you can start to find the answers and when you find them, underline them. And then you should circle the answers you have chosen. Repeat this process for all of the questions in the set. And lastly, you transfer your answers, which are letters, after the section to the reading answer sheet. Now you have time to practice with my help. First, let's look at the headline on page 8, practice 1, in your training booklet. Or it is also on this screen. The first thing you need to do is to read the headline. What do you think the article is about? I'll give you a bit of time to have a look. It's about wildlife in urban environments, so in towns. Now you need to find the part of the passage the question relates to by reading the question and finding the place in the passage. You can find the information in paragraph G. Now we're going to look at some question types that are not in order, i.e. the options don't appear in the same order in the passage. Until now we've only looked at those that are in order. Here you have to start reading the relevant paragraph or part of a passage that the questions relate to. If you start by reading the questions and looking for the questions as you did in previous tasks, you will end up reading the passage a few times, which isn't necessary. By this I mean, if you started looking for the first question in paragraph A, but don't find it, the answer until T, E, then you would have to go back to question two and have to start all over again and read the whole passage from paragraph A, looking for the answer for number two. And you'd have to do the same for all the questions, which is a waste of time. So this is why we start by reading the relevant paragraph or the passage from the beginning, underlining the main ideas and then matching them to the questions rather than the other way around. You will need to skim for the answers in this question type as you're looking for the ideas in the statements. Now we're going to practice. First of all, we'll do one question and then I'll give you time to do the rest. So to start with, you need to skim paragraph G. You need to underline the first benefit or any of the benefits. Once you've underlined it, you can match it with an option and then you can circle the option in the question booklet. 
I'll give you a little bit of time to do this. Okay, so now, now you can repeat this process for the other options and after you can do question 27 which is a general question based on the whole passage. Take five minutes to do this and I'll tell you when the time is up. You can start now.
Your time is up now. Now you're going to transfer your answers in pencil to the space in your training booklet and in the real test to an answer sheet. Your answers are in any order, so questions 24 to 26, if the answers were A, B and C, can be written A, B, C, B, C, A, C, B, A or in any order. The most important thing is that you have three letters. You have to transfer quickly and carefully. You now have 40 seconds to transfer your answers to the space in your training booklet. I will tell you when the time is up. You can start now. Your time is up now. Now you have time to look at the answers and where they are in the passage, which you can read in the back of your training booklet and on this slide. If you need more time, just press pause. Don't forget the answers 24 to 26 can be in any order, regardless of where they are in the passage. Now you have a chance to practice alone and after we will go through the answers together. Go to lesson 8, practice 2 in your training booklet. Don't forget to follow the steps which you can find also in your training booklet. It's important to follow the same pattern as in practice 1. You can, there are 4 questions and you'll have 5 minutes to answer the questions without transfer. You can start the timer which is set for 5 minutes now and then pause this lesson video and restart it when you've finished. You now have 40 seconds to transfer your answers to the space in your training booklet. I'll tell you when the time is up. You can start now. Your time is up now. Now you have time to look at the answers and where they are in the passage. You can find the answers and where they are in the passage in the back of your training booklet and on this slide. If you need more time, just press pause. That is the end of lesson eight. And after a short quiz, you can go to lesson nine, which is on locating information in the passage.